So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to the very first video of this web series for Ionic 5 and Firebase. Now in this whole web series, we're going <coughs> to take a look at, <coughs> okay, my throat is not in the best condition, but anyway, we're going to take a look at um, Ionic plus Firebase stuff in this web series. Now Ionic has been there for quite some time and it has matured into a very decent and very stable framework. So far I can say it's looking good, right? Devices have been upgrading so far all these years and uh, they are now more powerful. They have more RAM, more battery, more CPU number of cores, number of CPU cores and you know everything. Performance is increasing. Right, so the gap between native and hybrid is closing real quick on mobile devices. So where Ionic comes into play is that if you're a web developer who's wanting to create mobile applications for cross-platform or maybe even for a single platform, it does not really matter. And you do not really want to tap into other fields like maybe Java or Kotlin, Swift, Objective-C. You do not really want it to get into that. So for you, you can use your web development skills into a thing into frameworks like ionic which are hybrid frameworks which allow you to write applications in html css javascript and they would run on your browsers just very very close to native right so there would obviously be a layer of web view on the top of your application but all of that css styling and performance would be very very close to native with the high-end devices of course so yeah, let's just start this web series real quick. I'm pretty excited to create something awesome in this web series and uh, we would be using Firebase as well all along. So that would be an interesting aspect to see. So that's all for this one. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe, like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.